Zidravo, hello. Traveling is important for mental and spiritual growth and human happiness as well. I had the amazing opportunity to travel to a country that I've never been to before, and it turned out to be my favorite trip. Imagine you're on an airplane, traveling someplace that you've never been before. New opportunities, new people, a different culture, amazing food, and architecture that is awe-inspiring. You don't know the language people are speaking around you, and music fills the air. Looking left and right, you see Roman-style ruins so intriguing that you must know more. This brings me to the topic of my speech, Croatia. Not many people know about Croatia and its amazing culture. The country is beginning to be a popular vacation spot, though. According to Catherine Sabino in Forbes magazine, in part of the dazzling World Cup run, Croatia is more popular than ever, and each year, increasing numbers of travelers seek out this beautiful haven on the Adriatic Sea. The purpose of my speech is to broaden your scope of geography and hopefully spark your interest in this beautiful Eastern European country that was not very well known, but is now becoming a vacationer's hotspot. To do so, we'll examine the history, the culture, and the natural beauty that is found in Croatia. In ancient Croatia, its power went back and forth between the Romans, Austrians, Hungarians, and Turks. It wasn't until the 19th century that Croatia experienced some independence and a little bit of peace. That all ended in 1929, when Croatia and other Eastern European countries joined together to create the country of Yugoslavia. In the Yugoslavian government, they faced a lot of repression because it was a communist country. This led to a civil war that broke out. According to Mary McCarthy, in an article in the Borgen Project, Croatia declared independence in 1991 against Yugoslavia rule, and the war lasted from 1991 to 1995. On January 15, 1992, Croatia was granted independence. Since then, they have been a free, self-governing country. The history of Croatia might not seem important, but it impacted their culture today and caused much of the population to migrate around the world. Next, let's consider the culture. The language in Croatia is very similar to other Eastern European languages, such as Russian and Serbian. However, within the country, they have a lot of different dialects. You can be in one town with one dialect and travel to the next with a different dialect. The religion, according to the U.S. Department of State in the International Religious Freedom Report, last updated that 86.3% of the population is Catholic, 4.4% Serbian Orthodox, and 1.5% is Muslim. The cuisine in Croatia is similar to American cuisine. They eat a lot of meat like we do here in America, but instead of just having one protein with their meal, they'll have about four. Croatians go to a lot of different markets. They have coffee shops and bakeries all around the corner. The simplicity in Croatia is admirable. Within their town, they have a market and a bakery and everything they need to walk wherever they need to go. With this understanding of the culture in Croatia today, let's consider the natural beauty of the country. The coast is on the Adriatic Sea, sometimes called the Dalmatian coast. The water is clear and warm here and is known to have healing agents in it. So many Croatians spend their entire summer here. According to an article on TravelHonesty.com, Andrea Pasak said that it's the rocks that make the Adriatic so clear. You can always see the bottom. Croatians say, we're so spoiled that we refuse to swim if we can't see what lies beneath. People say that the boats look as though they're floating because of how crystal clear the water is beneath. Many Croatians have a home in town and also along the coast just for them to spend their summer vacation there. 
One of the most talked about waterfalls in Croatia is called the Stravaki Buk. Stravaki Buk waterfall is situated on the Una River and lies on the border of Croatia, adjoining Bosnia and Herzegovina. Some of the beaches are considered the most beautiful beaches in the world. Croatia's natural beauty really never ends. In the last few minutes, I addressed the history of Croatia, the culture there, and the natural beauty in the country. In the end, I hope I broadened your scope of geography and influenced interest in an Eastern European country you may not have known about before. No matter who you are, Traveling brings happiness, and I hope you choose to travel to Croatia one day.